Hello everyone, Ben Rutz here, the Digital Media Coordinator at the Kokomo Howard County Public Library, and this is a Digital Den mini class, a three-part series on how to start a YouTube channel. Part one is how to actually create the account itself for YouTube and how to customize your channel. Part two is different camera options as well as how to actually upload that video to YouTube. And part three is a little bit of a deeper dive on how to use the editing function to edit your videos actually on YouTube. So stick around uh, to finish out the rest of the series. And if you have any additional questions on how to be able to create that YouTube channel, or maybe you have something specific that I didn't go over, stop on into the Digital Den during our open hours, or um, you know, come on in here to the Kokomo Howard County Public Library, and I'd be happy to help you out with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and share my screen and uh, get things started here. All right, so I am sharing my screen, and yes, I am currently on Google. And the reason why that is is because Google actually owns YouTube, and so you have to create a Google account to be able to have a YouTube channel. So I'm going to briefly go over uh, exactly what you need to do here, and if uh, you already have a Google account, you can skip ahead in the video uh, until we actually start uh, the, the, the actual YouTube channel there. So my name is Ben Rutz. I'm going to put that on there, uh, my YouTube uh, name here. I'm going to go ahead and put library two. Um, I'm going to create a password. Okay. I'm going to hit next. Sure. It's going to ask for you to verify your identity by inputting a phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have now verified my accounts and uh, it has already input my phone number up top here. Now I do recommend that you actually do attach your phone number to your YouTube account. And the reason why that is, is because if you forget your password to your you, or your Gmail account, uh, this is a way for you to be able to recover that password or change your password. Uh, but also it allows to give, it gives you some different functionality on YouTube just by having a phone number attached to your account. Uh, which I will show you um, as we get a little bit later into this first portion here. Uh, recovery email address. I recommend that you put one in there. I'm going to skip that function for now as it is optional, but I recommend you put one in there. Again, adiv additional options for recovering your, uh, your account in case you lose your password. Okay. I'm going to put in uh, today's date. So the recording of this is the 8th. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, 2000, uh, select a gender option. You can put rather not say, you can put custom, uh, or you can put uh, male or female, whichever one that you would like uh, that fits best for you. Okay. Uh, let's see, get more info from your number. It's going to ask if, uh, if it can get some more info uh, on there. I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. Uh, scrolling through this, you should read privacy and terms on all of uh, the different things that you subscribe to, but I'm going to skip that and click I agree for now. And all right, I have successfully created my Gmail account or my Google account. Uh, and that actually gives me the opportunity to be able to utilize any Google service. So I can use Google Drive, I can use Google Photos, Docs, Sheets, any of the other ones that are on here, all from the same Google accounts. But most notably for this purposes, for this class, we're going to use our YouTube account. And there we go. We are currently signed in now to YouTube. So to be able to create the channel itself, you're going to go up here onto the top right hand corner and click on the first um, first letter of your name, which is going to be what's going to appear in that bubble there. And you're going to click on create channel. OK, you're going to type in whatever you want the name of your channel to be library test channel. OK, and you should upload a picture. I'm not going to for the purposes of this video, but the more that you actually fill out all of the customization, the more uh, likely that you'll be able to get some better engagement from YouTube. OK, I'm going to click on create channel. Wait, that, wait for that to load there. And there you have it. Our library test channel is officially created, but we haven't actually done any of the customization uh, stuff here. So let's go ahead and fill that out now. Um, I'm going to click on customize channel. 
and uh, it's going to give us a little bit of a, a, a tour if you'd like the, the walk through there, but I'm going to do that for you so we can click away from that and click on close here. All right, so to customize your channel, there are three different tabs. There's the layout tab, the branding tab, and the basic info tab. Let's click on the basic info tab first. If you didn't like the name that you uh, had put in before, you can change that now. The description is going to be describing you know, what people can expect from your channel. Uh, so say my channel was as a gardening channel, I could say, hey, everyone, I sure do love gardening. Check out my videos to learn some gardening tips. New videos every Thursday. Something like that. Um, uh, just a description of what you what you want to tell people about your channel, okay? Uh, the, the channel URL here, and if you are a fan of some bigger YouTubers, you will know that uh, their, their channel URL is something that they customly created, uh, and you do not have that option until you become a YouTube partner of a specific level. So the more subscribers that the, you get, the more content you put out there, the more power on YouTube that you will have. And so it will allow you eventually to be able to create a custom uh, URL, but we do not have that at this time since we just created this channel. But what we can do is we can add custom links on here. So maybe I am using this YouTube channel to promote my, my business. Uh, and I'm like, hey, I want people to be able to, uh, you know, go back to our website. So I'm just going to type in my website, um, uh, Kokomo Library is what I will put as the link title. That's what it's going to appear as under the about information. And then the URL itself, khcpl.org. All right, that's my link there. Um, it, you can select how many links that you would like to appear uh, on that as a section. And you can also fill out your contact info. Just put in the email that we created there. What was it? Ben Rutz Library 7 at gmail.com. I think it was something like that. All right, so we filled out all of the basic info. You could end there and click publish here in the top right-hand corner, but there are a couple other things that I do want to mention to you. You should upload all of the pictures that are required in the band, uh, branding uh, section here. It's going to help with your branding and overall help with your overall engagement on YouTube. Uh, people are, um, you know, obviously like to see a picture of you rather than this just L here for, uh, you know, our library test channel. So I could upload a picture of the library. I could upload a picture of the digital van, whatever picture I wanted to describe my channel, um, and uh, that would be that would be better than not having one. Same thing with the banner image, uh, putting something up there. It's going to be kind of similar to like your cover photo on Facebook, but much thinner. So it's going to be very wide, uh, but very short in, in height there. So uh, create a custom image or use another image that you, um, th that you have taken. Don't steal anything for, um, for that uh, and upload those there to uh, help out with your branding. And watermark is the more optional of the, of the three graphics there. Uh, you could even use the same picture that you used for your profile picture here, as long as it is uh, smaller than one megabyte uh, in terms of file size there, okay? But what a video watermark does is it just adds a picture in the bottom right-hand corner um, to show that this is your video and it is, um, you know, something that you could uh, put on top of your your videos as you post those. And lastly, I wanted to tell you about the layout section. What that is, is uh, it gives you a couple of different options. As you can see here on our channel, we have nothing here right now, but assuming I had five or 10 videos, I could start putting those videos into playlists and then uh, have those featured on my channel by adding in different sections. I could have a popular upload section. I could have various custom, uh, uh, custom uh, playlists here. I could show all my uh, subscriptions and all, all kinds of other stuff on there, uh, whatever it is that you want uh, for your viewers to see here on the home section of your channel. 
Uh, that's what the featured sections are. And then the video spotlight, not a whole lot of YouTubers use this, but you might find it useful. Uh, it is for either uh, people that have not subscribed to your account or people that have subscribed to your account. So the channel trailer, if uh, you want to provide a message for people that haven't subscribed to be able to maybe convince them that they should, uh, you could tell them like, hey, this is what my channel is all about. I got videos coming out every Thursday. Check them out. Um, and uh, hit that subscribe button or whatever. And then people that have not subscribed would see that video uh, right here at the top of your, uh, of your homepage on your YouTube channel. And then the featured video is for special messages that you have for your returning subscribers. So maybe you're gonna be taking a break from YouTube for a little while. You wanna let your, your fans know, hey, this is the next video that's gonna be coming out. It's gonna be a couple of months or whatever. Um, to just uh, give people an update. You can also use it as uh, if there's a video that you're really proud of and you want people to see it, you could do that, um, et cetera. Okay, so that is how you customize your channel. Whenever you're all done, hit that publish button right there. Uh, and then whenever we uh, we update our, our channel here, we're gonna head over to the about page and you'll see all of the information that I've put there uh, has been updated. The links page is open now, so I can click on uh, the, the link here to our library website. It'll take us right over there. Um, I can click on the business inquiries and uh, people can see my email. And then of course my description is there as well. All right, that's it for part one of this series. Next, we will be talking about how to upload a video. So stick around uh, and, and, uh, and, and we, will, we will do that coming soon. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions, stop by the Digital Den during our open hours here at the Kokomo Howard County Public Library main branch.